All right, so today we have a male pigeon, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about their general bone, bone structure, and then we'll get into the internal anatomy. So what I have right here we already took out is um, his breastbone, and it's keel-shaped, which means it's kind of shaped like a boat, so it's got a boat-type shape. And these on either side are their ribs. They're fused together, and then these are just little projections off the uh, base of his breastbone. Um, birds have fewer bones than mammals and reptiles because they're fused to make their skeleton more rigid, but they also have more cervical vertebra than any other animal. They have 13 to 25 um, cervical vertebra that makes their necks very flexible and helps them preen better. Um, and lastly, they have a fused collarbone. It's called a furcula, or better known to us as a wishbone. So, this is the inside of our little pigeon. Um, when removing things, I accidentally pulled off um, his esophagus because I did not realize how superficial it was. So this tube right here is actually his trachea. And then this part of this tube right here is the esophagus. And it would have led down this way into um, the crop, which would be right here. And then this would continue down into the abdominal cavity where we would get to the proventriculus, which is this green part right here, and this is where all of the gastric enzymes are. And this would lead to um, the gizzard, which is a super muscular organ, as you can see, we cut it open, and this is all muscle down here, and this is um, where the grinding and crunching of all the seeds occur, so it has to be really thick to be able to do that. Um, then it leads into the small intestine, like any normal animal, and it continues down into the large intestine. And down here, they have two tiny little buds on either side, and those are the um, cecum. And then it runs out through the cloaca. They just have one cavity for everything, for reproduction and then excretion of waste. Um, then we have his little heart up here. Um, his lungs are different than ours. They're pretty cool. Then we have his kidneys on the inside, and they're uh, lobated. They have like three lobes. And this is uh, this is midline right here. So this one kidney, and this is the other. And then we think he is a male because these little bean-like oh there we go these little bean-like structures in here are, um, they look like the testes in all the other books that we have referred to. And lastly, birds have a lot of air sacs in their body, and I'm assuming all of ours collapsed when we opened them or the formaldehyde um, degraded them, but they have air sacs in their cervical region, their clavicular region, they have humoral air sacs, anterior thoracic, posterior thoracic, and abdominal, oh, and even a couple more that I didn't mention, but they're basically they're spread throughout their body to make them more um, buoyant and lighter so they can fly. And there's his wing. It's pretty cool.